I'm <laughs> nervous to have that like to have the talk with my kid, my future kid. Be like, okay. Wait, which talk? The talk. I don't know. Should I be like? Don't worry about it. Do they handle it in school? Yeah, no, but I feel like I still, there still needs to be some sort of like, hey, Lil Johnny. I'm not going to call him Lil Johnny. That's not going to be his name. But like, hey. His first name's Lil. Lil Middle name Johnny. 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 Last name Baltazar. Lil Johnny Baltazar. (laughs) Sit sit your ass down. Sit your punk ass down. (laughs) Sit your punk ass down. I know you're having the sex. (laughs) It's like, dad, I'm in the fifth grade. It's if my kid talks like that in the fifth grade, <laughs> that's your voice for all kids. It can't be that bad. Oh, 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 it can't be that bad. Would you do you want your kids to call you by your first name? <laughs> uh, once they're adults, I have no problem with it. Wow. Yeah, no, they're going to call me once, dad forever. No, once once you once you turn 18, 19, you know, you, you don't have to start. Yeah. You know how I am. I don't think anyone That's should the be way calling you people like uncle or shit like that once you're an adult cuz these are fucking made up names anyways, dude. We had these conversations before. It's we a sign have, of respect and it depends on like how you grow up. Obviously. And I'd like to disrespect everyone. That's horrible. You're not going to get far in society. I don't know if you've heard, <laughs> but Have you met Have you seen The Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah, he was very respectful, at least on the surface <laughs> level. On the surface level, I don't even think so, dude. Really? He called. He made those calls to, uh, for all those penny stocks, and he sold it. He was very kind to the people that were spending money on shit stocks. He's lying to them, Christian. Yeah, but I'm, that's why I'm saying on the surface <laughs> level to get by. I'm not advocating that to get by in life. You have to be okay. You're right. You defend the Wolf of Wall Street, and I'll defend. Uh, Go ahead, Babe Ruth. He's a very, very respected man because of what he's done for the MLB. <laughs> did, did you see how hard I had to think of it? You were going, man. I was like, Christian, uh, turn the, on your sports brain. The, the, the cogs were turning. I could like physically see the steam coming out of your ears. You know, now that football season is back and everyone's in a fantasy league, Yep, I'm left out in so many conversations. Yep. yep. In so many where I'm just standing there and I have to... Use Smile my and nod. slight amount of knowledge. Yeah, I'd be like. Here's the tough part with fantasy, though. What? It's like even if you know names from like last season, it like sometimes it like that's worse coming into like a fantasy conversation. Yeah, because it's so up to the minute, up to the day, like literally up to the second. So and so was just hurt at practice mm-hmm. on Tuesday, and everybody knows about it immediately, right? So let's say I heard that two weeks ago, and I brought that up You'd now. It wouldn't even matter. You would by the time you heard it two weeks ago, like it wouldn't even make it's a not difference. Even news. And it wouldn't even like stick in your head, right? Yeah. So like w- when I say football player, who's the first one that comes to your mind? Aaron Rodgers. Why? Uh, because uh, someone at the gym was talking about Aaron Rodgers today. I don't know exactly what, but I know that that name was thrown. So if we were, ha- if I was having a conversation with about Aaron Rodgers, yeah, what would you say to get yourself into that conversation? What's like the one fact or thing that you would say that like to kind of uh, ingratiate yourself into that? If conversation? you were talking about Aaron Rodgers, yeah, you're like, oh hey, you know Aaron Rodgers. What, what team is Aaron Rodgers on? What team? What team? Is, I, I, I guess that's my conversation. Okay. Hey, what team is Aaron Rodgers on? Aaron Rodgers is on the Green Bay Packers. Nice. I was testing you. <laughs> good, dude. Nice. Eh? He's having one of the worst seasons of his life right now. That's what I heard. Yeah. Is that it was not good news when I he heard. He looks Aaron like dog name. shit. He plays like dog shit, and he hates Green Bay right now. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Packers are usually good, right? And they're not <laughs> doing good this year. <laughs> Raiders. Fuck through, the Raiders. Through Otis, I know you like you like picking fights with all these Raiders fans, and uh, I don't know much about football, but I know that the uh, Raiders have fans... never been to a playoff game since two thousand. Damn, dude, that's twenty one years. There's ago. there's never been a Facebook post that says, "Yay, the Raiders won that playoff game." I'm because yeah. Facebook's younger than the last Raider playoff win. Also, what? fun fact: last time they're at the Super Bowl, they set a record. Which I don't want to take anything away from you, Raiders fans. You guys did set a record in the last Super Bowl you were in. Most interceptions thrown in a Super Bowl. Rich Cannon. That's right. You can look that up, guys. Also, <laughs> that's uh, not good. You know what? That's the Raiders for you. They uh-huh. took their asses out of Oakland to go to Vegas to turn that into a slum. Then they're going to come back to Oakland and ruin that city again. You're making a shit ton of enemies right now. I don't give a fuck if they're Raiders fans. They can't even read. I think it's kind of that's fucked up. <laughs> Let's be careful right now. Let's be careful. Maybe it's healthy that I don't get too deep into sports. Well. Everyone's got to have one team that they hate. Uh, I hate the city of Boston. The entire city? That's I a lot of people. They shouldn't have any sports teams. The Red Sox. Cheaters. I like their colors. Well, there's a lot of other teams that are red and blue. Navy, blue, and red. You should be a Cleveland Indians fan. 
Uh, oh, they have those same colors. Actually, huh? they're not the Indians anymore. Now they're gu- they're the Guardians. They changed they're it. They're the Cleveland Guardians because the their their image was the was Native the American with and it was like red faced, right? I think the Wahoo was not the best looking um, mascot. That's for sure. Yeah. Do you remember like how the Warriors went through so many different mascot changes? I remember. I have Thunder's autograph. Really? You remember Thunder? Oh, he's like yeah. come around and like for like elementary school. The guy schools. holding the bolt. Yeah, and you like do like friend flips and shit. And it was like, just a buff dude in black spandex. I didn't think a he was buff. The suit made him look buff. There you go. Because there's a picture of me with Thunder, and that's all fake muscles. Ooh, okay. It's yeah. all fake, really. It's all puffy. But imagine how impressive if it, if it, uh, it would be if it was an actual buff guy. I think, um, and I'm not trying to be a dick here. Um, but I think if he was skinnier and like a gymnast, that's how he's able to do all those flips and tricks and fun stuff. Uh-huh. Doesn't matter what he's wearing. We'll make you look like Thunder yeah. anyways. Yes. But you know what? They had to kill Thunder. Why? Because they made a whole team in Oklahoma City named the Thunder, so they couldn't have a mascot named oh, so they had to Thunder anymore. Just get rid of him. And now the Warriors don't have a mascot. It's a bridge. It's, it's the Pilo. In, the entire, Pilo. P- Pilo is their mascot. Pilo yeah. from the Bay Area. Yeah, he's their mascot now. Shit, I'm pretty dude. sure that's like the guy who's running around that, in that's... like a costume. <laughs> a big costume. It's Pilo. Pilo, we know that. Pilo in a Pilo costume. <laughs> people like your costume. But it's very dangerous for you, Pilo, to be walking around because we uh, uh, you, you will... slipped last week, and we don't want that to happen again. Yeah, you came fucked up on coding. <laughs> Real quick, we can start the show, but I just want to talk. Do you know? You know why Jack Nicholson's not allowed in the forum anymore? He's not allowed in Staples Center anymore to see the Lakers. I'm assuming he got too drunk one time. He like got so drunk and spilled like chili cheese fries all over the court and all, all over the court. How do you drop it all over the court? A, he has a lifetime ban. From the fucking Staples Center. Because of chili cheese fries. Because he's And he's like the biggest Lakers fan, dude. He was courtside for all of the big Lakers games. See, that's why I'm scared to ever be that fat. It's because, yes, obviously, watch <laughs> watch out for your own health. But if it's to the point where you're spilling chili cheese fries, not only on yourself, but all over this court where professional athletes are playing. They're stopping the game to clean up your chili cheese fries. It's like Jack Nicholson, you were great in The Shining, but and these you, chili cheese fries how fucking mad, Like, up. how mad are you at Jack Nicholson? You know what I mean? Like, do you, like, I mean, I guess mad enough to kick him out. Was he clumsy or just plastered or both? Probably both. Man, he's not looking good lately. I actually haven't seen Jack Nicholson lately. I saw one picture of him, and it was at a basketball game, and his glasses were too small for his face. And his that stomach sh- was out. And yeah. The, yeah. The, you know what? He has. He's having fun. You think after you've accomplished that much in life, you're just kind of like, fuck it. I'll eat. I think that's exactly what Jack Nicholson's going through right now. A level of respect for that kind of guy. Just keep your food off the court. I think. That's a fair rule. Fair rule. Like, yeah, you can stuff your face with all your shit. That but- rule also is applicable in the court of law as well. Yes. Yeah. yeah yes. Yeah. Should we welcome the baddies? Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, welcome to another episode of ICBTB's Highly Irrelevant. Relevant. Today we're going Spanish. Yeah, oh, oh, the entire time. I don't know. Si, señor. Uh, El todo episode. Ah, lo siento. Mi español es no bueno. Si. Mi, uh, so, yo soy Alejandro. Uh, mi amo Cristian. Si, mi amigo Cristian es muy, muy estúpido. And, um, uh, mi amigo Alejandro <laughs> es muy, muy... Uh, um, Paquito? Guapo? No, I was about to respond in uh, Tagalog because guapo no. means handsome in Tagalog too. Gu- guapo means handsome in Spanish. Ah. I do like that the no was also in Spanish though. No. No. I asked my mom how you say sorry in Tagalog and she was like, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> sorry none. Just like, dude, the Philippines just like, uh, if they don't have it in their vernacular, they're just like, use English. There is a movie on Netflix right now. What? About the creation of Webster's Dictionary. Starring Mel Gibson, Ooh, I'm in. who I'm is in. like the smartest man in words ever. Uh-huh. And um, he I is watched Webster. This. No, he's the guy who helped Webster. Okay. And um, who's Webster? The guy who owned the printing press. I don't know. Okay. I, I haven't seen the movie. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm asking too many questions. Seen it yet? You fucking dick. <laughs> Just asking. Okay. Okay. It. I'm interested. Uh, continue. <laughs> and he's um. He's like going off about how he knows all these languages. And they're like, um, why don't you define the word clever for us? Mm. And then he fucking does. Can you, without using the word clever, mm. what is the definition of clever? Mm, to say something quick or witty in an unconventional fashion. Ah. No, that's a lot better than I would have come up what with. What would you have said? I, when, I, when he first said like clever, I was like, man, I don't even know how to make like a dictionary meaning of clever. Yeah. S- smart and quick. There you go. I mean, it's really that's really short and yeah. to the point. I we don't should, know. We should, I mean, I love I love a good Mel Gibson. 
Yes. He's doing better now, right? He's not... I mean, probably not in real life, but, you know, okay. artist art. He's, yeah, yes, because I still, I've been looking at the thumbnail of What Women Want, <laughs> and that, I love that movie. I have, like, a real hard time clicking on it. <laughs> Just it's look like, at it. Hover your mouse over, and you're like... <sighs> I do this thing where if you, like, hover over it, it plays a clip. Yes. I don't feel guilty if I do that. That's how I learned about this dictionary movie. Oh, it's because you just hover, hovered over it? It's on Netflix, right? It is. Ah, oh, interesting. It's October, buddy. It is. Do we want to let the baddies know what we're doing for October? I mean, some of them may know. That's uh, not a surprise if you follow have, us on Instagram. We have some new friends. Yes. Welcome. Welcome. Um, welcome. And um, we, in October, like to be of the season and like to be in the, the mood of, of things. So... Sounds love like... films for the whole month. We're just going to be watching love stories, no, things fuck. like... Stop. Stop. Come on, dude. If people were to think between the two of us who would be more scared of horror movies, it's probably me because I'm constantly frazzled. Not you. Why? You could muster up through 90 minutes of some pop jumps and pop scares, but what? No, I can't do 90 minutes of pop jumps and pop scares. What is your... What's the background of this? Why are you so scared of scary movies? Because you've been in some scenarios that are way more dangerous <laughs> than what's depicted in these movies. So I have a go-to phrase that I say all the time when people ask me why I don't like scary films. Okay. Okay. The feeling of being scared is something that I don't enjoy. No one enjoys being mm. scared, right? It's a weird feeling. It's like being thirsty. Nobody enjoys being thirsty. I'm listening still. You got me still. Keep right? Going. So nobody's like, oh, I got to find a way to be more thirsty. So if watching scary films is like, oh, I got to find a way to be more scared. I'm already scared of a lot of things. Mm. You know what I mean? I already have a tough time sleeping. <laughs> because Tonight's you're thinking of the scary shit? Tonight's going to be even worse. Really? Yeah, dude. I don't like scary shit. I got scared. When I went to go see the Haunted Mansion movie, the Eddie Murphy film, <laughs> we got to see it at its premiere at the El Capitan Theater in Hollywood. Okay. And I was still scared because I just, the, the ghosts and skeletons and, and coming out of the ground. It's a Disney film. It's, I still don't like the ride, period. I mean, I'll ride it once because really? I have to, but I don't, I don't enjoy the macabre. Of that? Really? I don't like ghosts. Here, but the appeal for horror films is that so you could feel that tension, that fear, without putting yourself in those dire circumstances. Yes, actual fear of being out in the wild and like a bear's chasing you? Be scared, please. <laughs> I would much rather watch The Revenant than watch Get Out. No, that's just stressful. Oh, you're right, you're right. I would rather watch... No, 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 no. I would rather watch Get Out more so than Uncut Gems. No. Cause okay, those are two very high-stress films and very different stress. Yes. Okay. But I would rather go for uh, imaginary fear mm. than imaginary stress. Because that's, think about it, with Uncut Gems, it's so r realistic because it's grounded and this happens to people that have that lifestyle. It was even worse for me because I've been into sports betting. So Dude. I knew like what was happening. So isn't that terrifying <laughs> to that extent? Yes, but I really enjoyed that movie when I left. Mm -mm, but you would watch it again? I enjoyed it. Yeah, I've seen Uncut Gems a number of times. Stop. I tried watching Good Time by the... <gasps> that one's rough. The I, as well. I've never gotten through that in one sitting. It's, that's rough that's I've a tough movie paused it so many times yeah i can't do hmm. it you know i've really been pondering this whole scary film thing right me karen and i have been discussing this quite a bit because karen is a huge scary film um huh, i think connoisseur uh, ghoul i think is the word i was looking ghoul? for um, <laughs> that is if hey your microphone's on so if you have any comebacks to say you could say it right now she's no, just shaking okay. her head um um yeah, that's a uh... and also like like gore. I I, I don't love gore, but yeah. I can watch like the boys, which is pretty intense. That's or different. Or I can gore. watch like Scarface, which is pretty intense. All of those have pretty on par gore, except yeah. for things like Saw and uh, that's you know, stuff that goes purposely intense on the on yeah. the high gore. I mean, even in Scarface, <sighs> the whole chainsaw scene. That's pretty intense. I can't get through that. I can't. I saw that as a kid once. Terrified. Because can you imagine putting yourself in that position? Bringing it back to being a gangster. I can't live that life. I might get the saw to the head. I don't know, man. It's not like I'm going to... But you know, like, I don't want to watch Jeepers Creepers. I have no interest in watching Jeepers Creepers, but I'll watch that saw scene in Scarface a million times, dude. Uh, well, because it makes up for it because it's not like that the entire time. The entire tone of Jeepers Creepers. 
It's really, I really thought, scary. I thought you just like auto corrected your words. And like instead of saying time, you said tone. Because a lot of times when I type oh. time into my phone, it auto corrected to tone. You thought I was auto correcting. <laughs> For a second, I was like, oh, Christian, he meant time. But how foreign didn't. do you think I am? I Not think, foreign. I at think all. you're actually futuristic. What is okay? Let's spun that around. What are you going to be for Halloween? Is what I actually really wanted to ask you on this episode. Oh, it's going to be fantastic. Yeah, I'm going to be um, uh, Jack Skellington. Are you mad at that? That's, I mean, I thought I was. Is that I, too scary for you? No, I don't enjoy dressing up a lot. Oh, anymore. the last Halloween party we went to. I, wore, I wore a wig. Yeah, oh, so boring. Come on, you got to just like commit. Well, and the, and the year before that, I was Charlie Brown Ghost. Uh, that's still not committing. That's a great costume. For someone who commits the bit all the time. Charlie Brown Ghost was a great costume. Yes, yes, but then you took it off later because it how, got hot. <laughs> how long are you going to be under a sheet with two holes, right? Well, somebody pointed out to me that Charlie Brown Ghost is very similar to um, Southern Ghost. Yes, yes, dude. <laughs> yes, you look like a ghost from Pac-Man. <laughs> That honestly would have been a better costume if it was like a blue sheet as opposed to a white sheet. My brother and I are going to be Mario and Luigi. That's pretty cute. Your brother loves dressing up. Yeah, but I think it's because he's super ripped now. He's buff now. It's yeah, opportunity. Yes, 100%, 100%. Dude, yeah. It's like um, how Halloween is an excuse for people to just be show off skin. Oh. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. To be, If you want to be a slutty cop or if you want to be a... <laughs> Yes. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I got insecure finishing that sentence. It's okay. If you want to be a slutty cop in the Halloween, it's okay. I'm not going to judge you at all. We love Honest. cops. <laughs> I think I accidentally almost said slutty cock, which <laughs> would have made no sense. Uh, my Here's what really why I'm upset with the Jack Skellington costume. Not because I don't like Jack Skellington. Not because I don't enjoy Tim Burton. I think he's an overrated director, but that's a whole different thing. I want it to be a traffic cone. And I saw a really cool costume for it. I would love the, that. The only problem is, and it says right on the bag, will not fit through doors. <laughs> All right, Alex, we're going to go inside the house for the party now. All right, I'll see you guys in a couple hours. All right, just be sure to regulate traffic out there while you're being a traffic cone. How great would it be if traffic cops dressed as traffic cones? Would would love that. Honestly, <laughs> in bright orange, I would pay attention to Face you more. Face painted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Commit to the fucking bit, man. That's uh, why people don't respect the cops, because they don't dress like traffic cones. Uh, <laughs> it's just like, fuck you. You don't look like a traffic cone. <laughs> you don't, you're not funny. <laughs> Do you remember when I was a zombie Winnie the Pooh for Halloween? Yes, I think about it quite a bit. Quite a bit? Yeah. Usually, Did that scare you, too? Yes, yeah, it shook me to the core. No, I think about it quite a bit, because you used to carry that costume in the trunk of your car. I still carry it for in the years, trunk of my years. car. For years. It's been years. It's just, takes it takes up too much space in the house. Keeping it in the trunk of your car is like when when they find a psychopath's car after he's committed four murders and they're like, look at all this rope and tape and gloves. It yeah. makes sense. For you, they like open up and they're like, bloody Winnie the Pooh. Huh. <laughs> they would look at that longer than they would look at like a bloody kitchen knife. <laughs> the trunk, right next that would be more like, suspicious. I don't know. We got to talk to somebody about this Winnie the Pooh shit. Let's this is <laughs> weird. I'm worried. I'm really worried. <laughs> I did. So I made that costume. I'll put a picture up. For reference, um, I made that costume because my your mom was turning fifty. Yeah, and I was like, "Ma, you're getting old. Let's keep you on your toes and you keep did the you dancing young. bears show." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, we were we went to a convention. It was a TwitchCon, right for mm. for video games and whatnot. And uh, it was near Halloween. It was like Octoberish, and so I bought that costume straight from China. It looked way different. It looked like one of those shitty mascot costumes that you see people putting on in Vegas so that you could take a picture with them, but it yeah. looks like so off-brand. Like the anti-Semitic Elmo in Times Square. Is that a thing? Oh, yeah. What? <laughs> He's crazy. What's he wearing? Elmo. Elmo? Just handing out flyers about why Jews are bad. <laughs> oh, okay, so it's not necessarily on the costume. It's what he's promoting. Elmo, this guy's dressed in a full-on Elmo costume. Just handing out anti-Semitic literature. That's really confusing. It is. Because, like, obviously we all have an affinity toward Elmo. Everyone, like, gets close to Elmo and then they take a picture with him, give him five bucks. He's like, oh, and here, take this. And you're like, oh, my God, this guy hates Jewish fuck people? What is this shit? Oh, my God. <laughs> fuck you, dude. Not like... Oh, uh, Zombie Winnie the Pooh. I was going to say Walt, Walt Disney, but anyways. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were trying to set me up poo? for success. Zombie Pooh made a bunch of kids cry at this convention. Not a surprise at all. Because from behind, it just looks like Winnie the Pooh with a tattered red shirt. And I would turn around and I'm all bloodied up. And what was Mel? Like, bloody piglet? 
No. Oh, that would have been funny if she was piglet, but just like a bunch of blood on her knuckles. She was piglet. We should have made it her we should have made her bloody. Yeah. Yeah. Like she like she's the one who dealt out his beating. Mm-hmm. Like Winnie the Pooh got like bad with a mob. Mr. Rabbit needs his money for his fucking carrots, and Eeyore's not cutting it. Mm-hmm. We already cut his fucking tail off. Yeah. Now we need blood. This alternate universe where all the Winnie the Pooh characters are gangsters. I need to stop playing Mafia 3 for a little while. Man, you're really immersed in that world. You know how I get when I start playing video games? Yeah, you become the video game. <laughs> I am Lincoln Clay. <laughs> I, I was telling you yesterday that I'm having a real tough time with Mafia 3 because uh, it's super racist. Very racist. And they hit that N-word hard in this mm-hmm. game. Woof, it is intense. They did not need to go that deep. Um, and no wonder it makes sense before every loading screen, they have that like disclaimer where they're just like, this is part of history. <laughs> yes. Yes, <laughs> they have to preface that, and it's like we and and they're right. They have like a, a little line in there where they're like, we felt that not putting this in our period piece would be more disrespectful than having it in. It wouldn't make any sense. That being said, it's in quite a bit. Yeah, this game is pretty racist. It's like a Quentin Tarantino, but movie. you get to kill all those people, which I'm all about. Yeah, yeah. I've yeah. recently, not even She's, recently, he recently come into killing racists. Yeah, I'm just like you know, fuck all these Nazis. My pieces katana. And shit. <laughs> I've oh, recently, man. Um, Antifa? <laughs> um, revenge movies. Revenge yes. movies I'm like really into. Ever since I... Because I told you recently I watched John Wick for yes, the first time. Yes, 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 yes. I'm like, fuck. So there's two... So there's only three versions of James Bond, right? There's James Bond on a mission. There's James Bond quitting MI6. And then there's James Bond on revenge. Mm. And every time James Bond is on a revenge mission, those are the best fucking Bond films. Because his morals and values go out the window and he just yes, dude. just kills everyone, man. After they kill his wife, the movie right after that, Live and Let Die, he doesn't give a fuck, dude. Love it. Yeah, that's it's so- awesome. That sounds awesome. I need to watch that. Yeah, Quantum of Solace doesn't give a fuck. Mm-hmm. Awesome. I think I need to... I need to watch the rest of the John Wicks. Yeah, you do. And I need to channel this because this is like how I would watch this when I was like younger and I knew I was like getting made fun of like revenge movies in general. And I'd be like, oh, I, oh, I love it. I want to be that guy. Yeah, yeah for sure. Well, um, I've been going to the gym a lot more recently yes. and uh, I got this for my brother because my brother wasn't the most social person growing up and he knew that like he had some uh, some like a. Uh, Deformities. To be, yeah, dude, he had this big third arm just coming out of his forehead. <laughs> no, because um, we obviously moved out of Pittsburgh because it was like a, a pretty Rough bad town. Pace, yeah. place to live, right? Yeah. And so we moved out of there because like uh, of some violent stuff that I don't really want to get into. Well, your brother got in one small fight and your mom got scared, then he moved him to the city called Benicia. <laughs> I wish that you had that a little more accurate, <laughs> just a little more accurate and with rhythm, and I would have been in. <laughs> that was kind of good, though, in the beginning. You, Pretty good. You, like, stopped midway to pick up your drink, like, oh, I think Alex is on to something. I know, I know where that's from. <laughs> but he says that he channels a lot of that anger and resentment from not, for not having stood up as much as he should have. And mm. same for myself, because, yeah, like, sure. I was too young to really... Stand up for your brother. Yeah, yeah. I'll to just be transparent, and uh, maybe I'll cut this out later. Yes, he 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 got jumped at a park next to our house because we had some bad neighbors mm. there. And I was a kid; I didn't know what to do. I'd never even really seen many fights, let alone like. And he didn't want to engage in combat because I was there, and he didn't want me to get hurt. So it was a very heroic thing. And watching somebody get jumped is a very intense thing. Very see. scary. It's very intense. It was yeah. a bunch of yeah. And so with that, that's why we moved to Benicia in the seventh grade. He, uh, my father moved this out. And he tells me often that it's moments like that that he channels healthily into like his workouts, mm. which is why he's ripped now. Like if those motherfuckers had seen him now, I don't think they would mess with him. And like I, I really do think he could throw down if it came to it. Yeah, like in a cook-off. Yeah, it's just like, oh, those people don't know how well I can make a, a, Come a, here, Bobby Flay. a brisket. Yeah, Bobby Flay's throwdown. No, yes. you're, you're right. I, and it is a very trauma, traumatizing moment the first time you see like somebody that you know get beat up. And yeah. like you don't know, you freeze. Everyone yeah. does. I mean, it's not, especially as a kid. I mean, what are you going to do? Dude, because you, I felt so protected. I was so ignorant to the... To the crime and to the shadiness that w- existed in Pittsburgh, California, that and like I had such a I had a good childhood. Like yeah. I, I say all the time, and I, as a joke, like I had a good, I have a good life, and For I sure. had a good life. And <laughs> not anymore, not anymore. <laughs> These knuckles throw down. Um, and it's because I was taken care of well by my parents, and so 
to for the first time for me to see like whoa it's 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 dangerous like yeah. and you really have to be smart and you really have to be cognizant about uh how you go about things or like you remember we talk about all that time like how I was so careless in Vallejo that's because I was still I was still ignorant and I was still growing up and it still hasn't re- had didn't really settle in me of like how- I don't think it's I would say naivety. Yes. Yeah. Naive. Yeah, yes. I think being naive is different than being ignorant because mm-hmm. it wasn't ignorance in the moment. Mm-hmm. Um there's a difference between being ignorant in in those situations and being just not aware, just not, you know. Do you think you would have uh, grown up completely different if you had stayed in LA as opposed For to sure. moving out to Benicia? Oh yeah, dude. I mean, all that would have changed. I would have been completely different if I grew up in the house three doors down. You know, like it's all everything would have changed if just one little thing was different. Yeah, man. Right? Think. Of, I, I mean, you think about that often. The butterfly effect. Like just like one, not the Ashton Kutcher movie. But. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> when he like shoves his hand on the <laughs> ticket stamp. Um, no, but I do think about like the whole what if scenario, right? Because especially with like the whole Marvel show going on, and, like, sure. the whole, but the whole thing of like, you know, if one thing is different, like it spawns a billion different yeah I- ideas alternate universes and you know i've always been somebody who subscribes to the multiverse theory like i think that is a very reasonable thought process mm-hmm. um in human life and then also like it's the best excuse me it's the best um tool for comic books because it just adds more and more and more and more and more mm-hmm. and more um but i do think there's some level of reality and realism in this multiverse theory of uh you know why did i turn left Instead of turning right, mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Somebody would have turned right. Someone could have turned right, and what would have happened? Well, that would have led you down this street instead, and this would have happened, and that would happen, and this would happen. You know. And then you ponder for five seconds, and then it just goes away, and you just like freaking deal <laughs> with it. Oh yeah, I got to go to the grocery store. <laughs> Did you ever do that as a kid? Do what? Like think about these hypotheticals as kids. Yeah, for sure. I do that as an adult. Oh, for sure, as an adult, because like we're more complex thinkers, Especially right? Especially watching like Rick and Morty and shit like that. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah. Of course. I remember as a kid, like I would think deeply into the consequences of my actions, like to the point, like if I play with this toy, then that's gonna make me want to watch this movie on DVD, which will make me want to do something else later. And yeah. I think about that, and like even to this day, I'm like planning out. I hate being bored. I think <laughs> you know this, and I think too much when I'm bored. Uh, and I feel like it affects my everyday life. Melissa tells me that like it's hard for me to just chill, and I want to be able to chill more. It's like it's a good thing to be bored nowadays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, a few days ago, <laughs> I was bored, <laughs> and I was yelling around the house. Yelling? I'm bored. Oh, I'm bored. So you're like taking it out, like and you, Kumo, you shut the I'm fuck up. Bo- I was doing it as a joke because like, I knew. Christian, are you bored? <laughs> like, it's like when someone's hungry and they're acting out, I'm like, yeah, I guess I yeah, am. I guess I am bored. <laughs> oh, here's a Game Boy. I was. Here's yeah, a magazine. <laughs> do something with your life, Christian, and stop yelling. Um, I was saying it uh, as a joke because I knew I used to say it as a kid, and my mom <laughs> thought I was being serious. And she yelled at me like she used to, she still yells at me, but she yelled at me in this specific tone that I haven't heard in like over a decade. She was like, Christian, if you're bored, go do something. Wash the dishes or go, you know, clean the house. It's so dirty. I do all the cleaning here. I'm like, mom, I'm just fucking kidding. But uh, but I will go wash the dishes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I'll go do it. <laughs> mom, bored doing the dishes now. I'm doing the dishes. <laughs> Damn, man. Oh, man. Do you miss being a kid? No. You don't? No. The lack of any responsibility it kind of entices me. <laughs> yeah, that does sound nice, but right? I, I get to make my own rules now. Ah, uh, that's right. I it had, is cool being I had an cake adult. for breakfast this morning and eggs for dinner. And but, I might have coffee for dessert. Did you really have cake for breakfast? No, none of that's true. Okay. You would really hurt your stomach that way. I do remember one time when I stole a Coca-Cola and brought it to school and I drank it like in the first period or something like that. I uh-huh. was having like a great second and third period. You're like, oh my god. I should do this all the time. And then I crashed right before lunch and was just like I had such a bad headache and like had such a bad like come down from the caffeine. It literally felt like I ran into a wall. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like a full bottle of Coca-Cola. Oh, it was a can. A can. Man, dude that's how that's how clean and pure my body was back then oh your tolerance for your tolerance uh, for coke it was like the seventh grade dude yeah like that you're much right sugar and caffeine in a seventh grade body but they sold us not th- sodas oh there were no, no sodas in no. middle school no, no, not 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 in benakaya but they'll give us three chocolate chip cookies in a plastic bag for a dollar 25 and it's like that plastic bag will never leave the earth yes it was a very thin plastic bag that could fly away with the wind and unbelievable just, 
I used to eat all three of those cookies in one sitting. Yeah, everyone did. Okay, I guess I'm not. Yeah, that's not special. <sighs> How come my metabolism wasn't as fast as everyone else's in middle school? Everyone's also eating three cookies. Isn't that upsetting? Here's the thing, Christian. What? Everyone's body's just a little bit different. Some people are born tall. Some people are born short. Some people are born fat. Some people are born skinny. Some people are born black. Some people are born white. But here's the thing. At the end of the day, everybody loves cookies. I don't like that talk. I don't think you should ever talk to a group of children like that. <laughs> I love talking to children. <laughs> I love talking to children. <laughs> hey, man, why are you doing that? <laughs> yeah, don't. Don't fucking do that. It sucks. Nobody likes that shit. You don't cuss in front of kids, do you? Yeah, I always teach kids how to cuss. No, don't be that kid. No, I'm not a kid. Thank you very much. Oh, I'm don't the be that cool guy. uncle who teaches kids how to swear. No. Yeah, and I tell, but I do give them this one rule. Hmm. It's only cool if you use the word right. It's So you like, you want to like, so you, you want to be cool, right? So you got to learn how to, you can't just be like, fuck. You have to be like, man, these cookies are fucking good. Then everybody would be like, did that four-year-old just say these cookies are fucking good? That's funny. That's it's funny, cool. but you shouldn't reinforce That's cool. that. You should not. No, you shouldn't reinforce the improper use of it. Oh, without context? Yes. I don't know. See? In what context do any kids have at that age? Like if a kid's eating an ice cream cone, sure. right? Licks it too hard and the ice cream falls off. If he looks down and just goes... Shit. Sure, 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 sure. Tell yeah, me that's, that's not good, the funniest thing that's ever. That's really funny. That's, that's really funny. the best thing ever. But I'm not going to laugh, and he's going to probably say that every single time he drops something. I guess that'd be kind of funny. It would be fucking hilarious. I'm nervous to have that, like, to have the talk with my kid, my future kid. Be like, okay. Wait, which talk? The talk. I don't know. Should I be like... Don't worry about it. Do they handle it in school? Yeah, no, but I feel like I still... There still needs to be some sort of, like, hey... Lil Johnny. I'm not going to call him Lil Johnny. That's not going to be his name. But like, hey. His first name's Lil. Lil Middle name Johnny. Johnny. Last name Baltazar. Lil Johnny Baltazar. <laughs> sit, sit your ass down. Sit your punk ass down. Sit your punk ass down. <laughs> I know you're having the sex. <laughs> it's like, Dad, I'm in the fifth grade. It's If my kid talks like that in the fifth grade. <laughs> That's your voice for all kids. Yes. That's your voice for kids. First grade age, and under. Up to the age of like 17, that's your voice for kids. Man, okay. And some women. I have a lack, of, not for women. I have a lack of characters, okay? I, I, me too. Kyle. I know you do. We have okay. about three each. That's combined. <laughs> combined. We have three, three characters each. combined. Um, no, but here's the thing with kids. Sure. And, and the talk. Um, no. No what? That's what I'll do if my kid brings it up to me. Anything? No. All right, let's let's... Let's do a little bit of a acting it out. You want to be the kid? I'm going to be the kid. Okay. Uh, I'll be Jessica. We'll say her name is Jessica. Oh, I have a daughter. You have a daughter. Oh, that changes everything. Whew. Okay. Do you, should we should we prime you up a little bit? And I should be the son first. And then... And then we'll do Jessica? We'll do Jessica So afterwards. we'll do Jesse first. Jesse. Okay. okay. How old's Jesse? You tell me. Uh, 13. 13. Because let's say he's about to go into high school and like... It's probably when you're going to end up And he doing knows stuff. nothing. Yes. He knows nothing at no, 13. No, 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 not knowing, but like what you're going to assume, like realistically, realistically thinking of like how to communicate to a 13-year-old, what would you say? Okay, I'm going to I'm going to do this. I'm going to take this seriously. I was going to try and make a joke out of this, but let's do it. Let's, okay. Let's go let's go full let's go full ham. <clears throat> All right, I'm in my room and you 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 come in. Dad? Jesse, I need to talk to you for a second. Okay. Okay. Sit down. You mind if I sit down on your on your race car bed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Can I get a new bed, by the way? No, 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 no. My friends are making fun of me. This one grows with as you age, so don't worry. By the time you're 20, it'll be a limo. It's plastic. Um, um, Jesse, that's neither here nor there. Okay. But why don't you have a seat? I have something I need to talk to you. Okay. Um, I um, went ahead and signed the permission slip for you to take sex ed this month, uh, but I wanted to have oh. a little chat with you before. You hang on. Hang okay. on, Jess. I want to have a little chat with you before you go through and, and potentially learn some things from a man or woman that you don't know or trust. And I figure if you, you should have the opportunity to ask somebody who you trust and love um, the most. So why don't you go ahead and ask me any question about um, you know, gender or sex or men or women or puberty or, or your dick and balls. Just tell me any question. Man, that's a lot. Uh, all right. Well, why don't we start with your dick and balls? Some, there's some hair. And I, but I know that's normal. I've perfect. Yes, it is. I've, uh, how do you get someone pregnant? Okay. Uh, um, first of all, 
you should only get somebody pregnant who you love. Um, I'm trying to avoid unless it. Unless you have an extra 500 bucks. Oh, avoid it. Okay. Avoid it. I'm trying so to then, avoid it. So then, yeah, wear condoms, bro, or pull out. <laughs> wear condoms, bro? I mean, shit, I forgot. Um, <laughs> shit, what? The- <laughs> Jesse, I'm sorry. I'm, Jess, I'm having a... Th- I've never done this before. <laughs> I'm legitimately... I actually, like, years ago, I did a weird improv scene where I handled this. I'm trying to call <laughs> back to that for a second, Jesse. Um, look, here's the thing, Jesse. Um, women get pregnant. Here we go. Facts. Right here, Jesse. Here's what's going to help you. <laughs> Everything Every- before that was not facts? Yeah, fuck it. You know what, Jesse? Here's fuck. the thing. I'm going to cut the shit right here with you, okay? Your mother shit. doesn't know shit. I know everything. I'm the shit. one who knows everything. Okay. Listen. Women can only get pregnant four days out of the 30-day cycle. So if you make sure that they're not ovulating <laughs> on those four days, then they'll never get pregnant. That's a fact. That's a real science. I get fact. that. I get that. Okay, let's come back to it. Okay, we're just <laughs> us now. That's crazy. It's very hard to be do serious improv, I'll tell you that. It, it is, but also, that is kind of how I would handle That's that how, conversation. Yeah, I guess try to keep it lighthearted. And, and be real. Like, look, dude, hey. Everyone tells you that girls can get pregnant at the drop of a hat. That's not actually true. Because I think that's a valid question for a 13-year-old to ask. Because I'm pretty sure not at that I point. I was 13. Yeah. Have you, did you watch porn by that time already? You did, right? How, what, 13? Yeah, I was a freshman. So you understood I think I like. I just had, I think I just started. Okay. And did, so you understood the mechanics of it all. I was figuring out. No, figuring honestly, out. like again, I told you how naive and like sheltered I was. I didn't even, yeah, you're and right. I didn't even question that stuff. Like I, like sex and girls and shit like that was never even like never even crossed my mind as a kid growing up. Especially at that that age, man. It wasn't until I was like junior senior year when I was like, I got I should probably like be going after girls now, right? Like, <laughs> Were you not going after girls freshman and sophomore year? Or just liking girls yeah. but not taking initiative. Exactly. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah, was yeah, in yeah. that boat too. Yeah. Okay. All right. You want to try to with a girl. Realistically, how would the conversation Realistically, with a girl, I'm not handling any of those conversations. That's a mo- that's that's mom's job. Okay, that makes there's sense. a lot of things that women go right. through that I don't understand, but I under I, I appreciate and I empathize with. Uh huh. Yeah. But um, I'm not gonna be telling some girl about her menarche. Yes, menarche. Mm. Menarche is that short for monarchy? <laughs> no, menarche is um, a fancy word for menstruation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> sweetie, when <laughs> you get, <laughs> sweetie, when you get your, <laughs> uh, honey, when you get your, <laughs> if I have a daughter, in all seriousness, future daughter, if you ever listen to this, somehow you find this, or if, I, if you even exist, um, uh, or if some multiverse daughter has a way to tap into this universe and listens, uh, here's my thing to you, daughter: buy a gun, learn how to use it, hmm. and be smart. Not bad advice. Self-defense. Yeah. yeah. Pepper spray for show at the very least. Same advice for the guy, but also keep your dick in your pants. His has He's got one extra. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think, I don't know. It's going to be tough. I constantly think, like, am I going to be a, hope I'm going to be a good dad. Like, I hope simultaneously that I'm a good father and, like, a cool-ish father. Like, I understand that there, I might get a few, like, dad. Shut the fuck up. Like, one of those. You think your kid's going to say that to you? To me. Like, not in, like, a serious, like, shut the fuck up thing. Oh. But, like, I feel like I might embarrass my kid. Oh. If I'm already embarrassing Melissa, wherever I go. And you don't even try. Yeah, I don't even try. Um, <laughs> I, I, Not to spoil our movie on Thursday, but I was thinking about this as watching that movie. Uh, at least in the first um, big murder thing that we see. How shitty would it be to spend... 18 years raising a kid, loving a kid, paying money, and then they just, like, fucking murder you. Horrible. That's, like, the worst case scenario of having a and kid. And it happens more so kids than... Kids kill their parents all the... There all was a crazy trope that occurs. There was a kid who just got arrested because he killed his parents, or actually, he um, was in a standoff with the police and killed himself, but yeah. he killed his parents, posted it on the internet. Stop. Really? And then and then the police came, and he had this huge standoff with the cops, and then he killed himself before they could arrest Where him. Where was this at? Do you know? I don't know, probably Florida. Dude, Florida's crazy, man. It's America, though. It definitely happened in America. Yeah, I, I believe that. America's full of fucked up There was up a people. kid in Benicia who killed his parents and then had that party. Went to, I think the specifics were, and I don't know how much of a game of telephone occurred with this and like manipulated the facts. It never happens with murder. <laughs> it's usually just spot on. <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure there are some things that are embellished. But this is what I heard. That the guy went to... Lake Tahoe. Yes. With his family. Yes. Burned down the cabin. Drove back home. With them in it. Killed them. Burned down the cabin with them in it. Oh, no. I thought burned down the cabin with them alive. Or maybe killed them in it and then burned down the cabin. Okay. 
Here's how telephone works. Here's how I heard it. He killed them and left them in the house, um, but didn't burn it down right away because they found the bodies after the party. Wow. They found the bodies after the party, if I remember correctly. And also, he had been like telling people at school, like, hey, man, I'm going to have a party this weekend. I'm going to have a party on Saturday. And he was like, Pfft. You're going to have a party? It'd be like if one of us threw a party in high school. People would be like, what? You're having a party? Like, people didn't really, like, believe yeah. it, but they're like, all right, if you say so. Yeah. Uh, and then he was like, killed his parents, and it was like, party on. And everybody was like, all right, cool. A complete psychopath, man. Dude, fucking crazy. Came I from here this time. were in the trunk of his car. When oh, drove this is telephone. So, can you yeah. talk? Into, if you're going to talk, can you talk to the mic, please? I thought that he had the party. When the parents were dead in the trunk. In the trunk of the, the car. The entire time. That does sound... Because I do remember <gasps> I do remember the parents' car was in the driveway. In the driveway. And people and that's like, why they thought it was normal. Yeah, everyone was like, oh, that's weird. Like, the parents' car is here, but we're still having a party? Like, it was it was one of those weird things. Mm -hmm. uh, also, I heard he was half pig. <laughs> Man bear pig? <laughs> Man bear pig. Man bear pig. <laughs> you have been watching a lot of South Park. <laughs> uh, it's just a lot of nostalgia. I remember that episode specifically. It's man. it's crazy, man. If you were going to kill your parents, how would you do it? Not do it? I'd rather just like not do it. <laughs> I would wait until my parents go on one of their fancy vacations that they go on for over a month. They do go on fancy vacations. And they leave for a long time. That's the only opportunity I would have to throw also, a party. Could... <laughs> That's right. Stop. Stop. I, I was just telling, I was telling Karen the other day, she was like, if you were going to murder me, how would you do it? I was like, well, I couldn't because we're in a relationship. I'm the first person that the police would go to. doesn't matter if I did it or not. Smart. It's, you know what I mean? 80 or, what is it? 87% of murders happen by somebody you know. And if you're a woman, 90% of the murders happen by either your father, your loved one, or a, a would-be loved one. Yeah. Well, so, that makes sense because there has, it's not as common for like a serial killer to do it as a... Uh, Willy nilly out of nowhere, right? Unless well, you're like Ted Bundy type of thing, or like Richard Ramirez. That's why, like when when serial killers do, just like yeah, I'm just gonna start killing people. That's why we're like so fascinated by that, yeah, because it is such a rare thing. It usually is like a crime of passion or an accident. A lot of people die by accident. A lot of people die by accident. Real quick, did you see that? Like, uh, it was like a tw uh, tweet, and someone said, "Little did these serial killers in the '70s know that they're just making a bunch of content because oh. <laughs> there's a crap ton of documentaries." We are so deep into true crime right now yeah it's fucking insane this whole country it's actually a big problem that's how yes. you know we're so sick and disgusted in this country that our favorite heroes are people like fucking ted bundy and richard ramirez not heroes not i mean richard ramirez was yes they were idolized by some crazy women out there straight up sending nudes and whatnot i don't like richard ramirez he was a horrible person killed a bunch of people but i tell you one thing what? He looked fucking cool. No sunglasses He's, in the courtroom. Yeah, it's he just, looked uh, fucking cool as shit, Why you gonna bro? look like that? Just be ugly. cool as shit. Richard Ramirez, of all the serial killers... Probably one of the. I think he's better looking than Ted Bundy. How about Wayne? Uh, Wayne John Ga Wayne Gacy. John Wayne Gacy. The clown. The yeah, the fat guy. That's how I imagine that they should all look and not appealing, so that we don't associate good yeah. looks with uh, yeah. serial killers, right? Yeah, I agree. I agree. Dahmer wasn't that pretty. Mm. I also don't think Ted Bundy was all that pretty. That's why I think having Zac Efron play him wasn't the best choice because no, Zac Efron's sense. way too pretty for 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 Bundy. Well, he was because Bundy. When did that happen? The eighties. 70s 70s he was 70s pretty with like the very bushy eyebrows <sighs> they tried to make it relatable because he was 70s pretty i guess he was 70s pretty but there were like arguably handsome men in the 70s who didn't like bundy's hmm. i don't know you know he got away from like a bunch of murders just because he like switched his part he was just like combed his hair <laughs> the other way and because the 70s was so stupid everybody was like nope that's not ted bundy it's like just getting a haircut. And it's the dumbest thing fucking ever, dude. Like it's. Yep. I always. Do you ever think about how easy it would be to be a serial killer now? No. Oh. It's actually way more difficult, I'm sure, with all the social media and like all the body cams and like people with their cell phones. What just I was gotta thinking. Go old school, buddy. Like, uh, if you're trying to run away, if you're wanted, do you ever think about like if I was in that position, how you would change your look? Well, I, I, I would, I. I don't think about it because I would like to show um, Exhibit A, the story of John Dillinger. Public enemy number one during the highest crime of the Depression was the most wanted man in America, had the most money in America. He was better than Bonnie and Clyde, better than Babyface Nelson, was the best bank robber in America. Escaped prison twice, wow. once with a fake gun. Uh, then, nice. he, then he went and got plastic surgery, had his whole face Whoa. redone. And because he was a gangster and he had all the money, he's one of the only people to be able to afford plastic surgery in the 30s. Now, it was still plastic surgery in the 30s, so it didn't look 
all that great. And he Who's did that get fucked up looking guy walking in the caught, streets. But uh, lucky for him, he got shot in the face before they could arrest him. And nobody got to see his face after the surgery. So. Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> no one saw how ugly he was afterwards. Uh, Zero pictures say? existed. Uh, he did get played by Johnny Depp, though. Oh, so I ima- I can imagine that. Yeah. Wait, John Dillinger. Who was? Uh, why he also played Whitey Bulger. He did play. Yeah, Black that Mask. was ugly. That was really ugly. <laughs> really ugly. It's, it's like, crazy, dude. Like we do have this fascination with like gangs, with with criminals, gangsters, it's America, and, like, baby, even serial killers. Like true crime podcasts are some of the most popular podcasts out there. Well, and in the twenties and thirties, true crime was incredibly big back then too. That's why we had heroes like. Dillinger and Bonnie and Clyde and that's why we like you know we have all these stories of H.H. H. Holmes and all these like serial killers and people yeah. who've always been around Jack the Ripper like we publicize and we make these things popular in America because we're just so fascinated by how like this the switch can just flip and yeah. then suddenly you just like kill your whole family and the postman I think it's just so everyone is so normal usually like we are so grounded so normal we know what is good from bad in in a general sense that it just uh, bewilders us when someone in, is just wired differently. Like, I don't think mm. we admire it, but like it is interesting. We like to hear about it, right? We love tragedy. I would say it's almost admiration. It's almost like... Almost. I get, I get that. Yeah. It's almost like a desire to cure. Is it a desire to help? Or is it, a, or is it just the innate human desire Whoa. to understand? That we're so fascinated by this, and we can't understand why people would do. Something. I think it's. I think it's the desire to understand, not mm. to cure. Um, that's that's like the thing where like girls like bad boys or like uh, nice guys like uh, bad girls type of thing. I girls have a, like cars, not boys. They like cars, not boys. Yeah, I don't know. That was maybe like, back from like the early. 2000s. Girls like what is it? Girls like cars and money. Cars and money. Girls maybe like diamonds. how's that song go? I don't know. Girls like. Boys don't girls don't boys. like boys. boys girls like cars like and money. Good Charlotte, right? Good Charlotte. Glad you. we finally yeah. found it. <laughs> Glad <sighs> we finally got it. Do you want to do uh, an improv scene? Yes. Yeah. Let's do. Let's do it. Are you having some hesitation with that white claw there? I'm deciding if I want to finish it now or after the scene. I got halfway through this uh, bourbon. Let's go. No, 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 no. What the fuck? That's a different thing. No, I have, we still have to record another episode. <laughs> oh, I'm going to do a movie episode now. Let's talk about Jesus. <laughs> Alex, we didn't watch Passions of the Christ. You didn't <laughs> watch Passions of the Christ. They want to make a sequel. They want to make a sequel of Passions of the Christ. Interesting. Um, uh, After the it, boulder moves. Uh, I hope that's where it picks up. <laughs> I hope it picks up exactly where they left off, like every comic book movie. Last time or, on Passion of the Grey. Or they'll do like from another angle. They'll do like um, Mary's vision of our view of him getting crucified. And In the eyes of Judas. <laughs> <laughs> it's like kind of like <laughs> faded. Oh, great. Now our improv scene's going to be <laughs> No, Judas was already dead by the time Jesus was. You're uh, right. So it'd be a much shorter movie. Anyway, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen. This is our friend Earl. He will be doing the announcements of um, all of our fun stuff. So, Earl, take it away. My name's Earl, and I'm the skeleton. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm your relative. Hey, Alex. <laughs> Alex. Oh, T.S. Eliot. Yes, Christian. <sighs> It's, you know, you've really changed ever since, uh, (sighs) ever since what? Ever since the, you, you got, you got your uncle's estate and you live in this mansion now. It's, uh, why don't you come with me to the study? I have something to show you. Wait, you're leaving me behind. That's going way too fast. (laughs) You got a, that's a very fast hover wheelchair. Okay. Christian, take a look at this board here. Do you see what these numbers on this black chalkboard? Do you see what they say? It's a bunch of gibberish. Yes. But squint. Is this an eye doctor test? What's no, going on? No, I actually can't figure out what the fuck this says. I was hoping you could figure it out. The only thing I've been able to figure out from my uncle's estate is how to use this floaty wheelchair. I don't even know what any of this shit is. There's elevators in this fucking room. There's houses. People used to, used to be a school at some point. I don't know, dude. I didn't even know he was my uncle until I got the house. What? And he gave it to you? He gave me everything. Everything in the house and uh, one of the, part of the will said I get an airplane and shit. I don't know. Cut to a montage of us uh, doing all this random shit. <laughs> mm, 
That's what's behind the painting. Oh, a gold bar. <laughs> Cut to uh, the elevator. Four floors. <laughs> Into the first bedroom. Okay. Is the bed rotating? I think so. I'm not, we're not going back It's a water here. bed. <laughs> back into the elevator. It's a good song. <laughs> Cut to the second bedroom. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, Batman <laughs> will need to start paying rent uh, any day uh, now. Is it cool if I keep living here, man? <laughs> yep, yep, no is problem. Is it cool if I keep living here, <laughs> no, dude? No, pro- no it's problem, a big sir. House. I, it's huge. Go back to the office. You can have the floor, sir. All right, Alex, to be. We gotta get to, that guy out of there. To no, get to, straight to the point. What? Everyone at school has been saying that you murdered your uncle to to get this estate. Me? Yeah. No. That's why you threw out that mass text for this big party that you're throwing on Saturday. What? That's, 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 my uncle. My uncle is out of town. Uh, where? Sing, sing, Singapore. Germany. Singapore, Germany. What does that mean? The city, the city of Singapore. Uh, in the country of Germany. Alex, be be real with me, please. Okay. Be real with me. I'm too real. Did you do it? I'm 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 about to do a do a big Look at the papers. They said that you stuffed his throat with a bunch of Pop Tarts. Oh fuck. They even have pictures of the receipts. For the Pop Tarts? Yeah. <laughs> you kept the receipts for the Pop Tarts? You're the worst. You're the worst killer you've ever. I've ever. <laughs> they put the receipts of the pop tarts on the paper. Wait, let me see that. What's wrong with you? Why did you do it? So you could have this big mansion. <laughs> get off of the get off of the hover chair. <laughs> All right, I'll help you. It's oh, good. A- then I guess I don't need this gun. That wow, you're gonna fucking <laughs> shoot me. Gonna go way different. You were gonna I'm shoot me. So happy that this changed. Yeah, man, I was gonna. All oh, right. Oh shit. Then I've been killing a bunch of people, dude. I didn't just kill my uncle. He's been what? running a whole school out of here. What? He's got one blind dude. What? He's got another old lady with white hair. Oh dude, my god, dude. There was another. There was like kids all over the place. What? I killed them all, dude. I. Th- we are standing on a field of dead bodies. We find out. Later that he stuffed all of the X Men's throats with Pop Tarts and did not hide any of the receipts. Are actually uh, the X Men's weakness. That's why nobody was able to defeat them because it's Pop Tarts that are their weakness. Oh, yeah. high fructose Ex- corn syrup. Corn yes, syrup. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes, yes. Um, um, so it is. So you want to go fly the jet? Scene. You want to do another improv scene? Yeah, <laughs> I like that one. No, I enjoyed that. I one. had a feeling like, oh, he's <laughs> Professor Xavier for sure. For sure, he's Professor Xavier. Oh man, <sighs> baddies! Thanks for tuning into the show. Uh, this episode is brought to you by Wild Heart Stones. Mm-hmm. Um, if you need some fossils, gems, and sage, we have a website for you. That's right, my friend Kyle. She's promised to bring us the best self-collected, self-selected, and treasured gems to you, uh, all at very reasonable prices on her website, WildHeartStones.com. Uh, Kyle and her father have been digging up these rocks all her life her dad was a geology professor back in the day and they used to go to rock shows they pretty much know everything that rock <laughs> nice um you guys could save 15 percent on all of your purchases just use promo code icbtb at checkout and a link to the website will be down in the description or you could find it on our website at icbtb.com thank you guys so much wildheartstones.com yeah check thank them you out. kyle enjoy the show karen can you give us a one word suggestion for an improv scene Every time we ask for a suggestion, it's like so much pressure on the person it's just never, providing. Didn't we ask our uh, Instagram followers? Yes, yes. Didn't I'm, we get anything? We got a bunch. That was psychedelics. I saw that picture of you. Psychedelics oh. is one. Okay. Bitches is another. Crocs Bitches is another. Is a good one. Yeah. <laughs> Bitches <laughs> was a good suggestion. Good. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. I looked stressed in that picture. <laughs> Okay, which word do you want to take? Psychedelic bitches. Psych- psychedelic bitches? All right. Hey. Hey. I want you to take a sip of this real quick. Just got it out of the distillery. Okay. I finished it this morning. What is Just it? Take, take what, a sip. What, what is it? Take a sip. Hey, what the... Th- Christian. What? Alex, what? We're trying to find the recipe here. Yeah. Okay, for the world's best Kool-Aid. Okay. I think I might have it here. Take a sip. This is this looks very illegal. Are your parents home right now? 
Christian, it, uh, look, hey. What? Just. Okay, I'll take, okay. Are you sure you. Be cool, bro. Dude, this isn't the first time that you've spiked my stuff before. All right, you convinced me. Okay, good. You convinced me. I, I'm at a loss of words that you don't trust me anymore. Um, I call it oh, psychedelic bi- bitches. Oh, oh God! This is is there? It's gonna be. What's the, in this? It's gonna be the new Fireball. Oh, gross! I fucking hate Fireball. You want this to be the new Fireball? It's actually just Fireball in a new bottle. You're gonna get sued for this. No, no, dude, check it out. Your name's in the paper. <laughs> oh my God! And they have the receipts. <laughs> I'm sorry. I ruined the scene. I ruined the scene with the stupid callback. <laughs> scene. We have the receipt. Oh man. <laughs> oh, A bunch of receipts for Fireball. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, uh, what's sillier? <laughs> Rebottling Fireball or killing the entire X Men with Pop Tarts? Probably the the the, 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 the Rebottling Fireball. <laughs> That's what they do, but they use um, uh, coolant for your car. What? <laughs> coolant and fireball? <laughs> yeah, that's how it gets that cool green color. Mm. I might be drinking the wrong fireball. <laughs> yeah, if that's, if that's what you're drinking. Fireball is one of the nastiest things that you could really drink. It tastes like Michael's. Oh, that's a great way to describe it. But you All know, right. the only way it tastes good, mm. as cold as possible. The colder, yeah. the colder the fireball, the better. Mm, isn't it like a little syrupy though? From That's all fine. that sugar, even when it Ugh. like, I would rather have like ice crystals in it because then it's kind of like drinking. Well, now I'm kind of not liking it as I'm saying it, but I was gonna say then it's kind of like drinking cold maple syrup. Yes, I'd rather drink actual maple syrup. So I used to work at the Cheesecake Factory for a long time. We used to do brunch every Sunday, and we used yeah. to have a, a bunch of maple syrup because we'd do you know French toast and shit like that. And our maple syrup was one part maple syrup, two mm-hmm. parts butter. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that I, much, and I once bet a guy that he couldn't drink a shot glass of syrup, um, and I lost. But then he spent three hours throwing up, so I think I won in the end. That's messed up. I feel like you've told me this story before, and I think I called you a douchebag oh. for letting him do that. <laughs> he semi challenged himself. He's like, yeah. "You bet me to drink it," and I was like, "Yeah, I bet you five bucks you won't do it." And he's like, oh, "Okay, good luck." All right, here's okay. your five bucks. I see what you're doing. You're losing a bet, but what you're getting in return is seeing someone be stupid. <laughs> Isn't that life, bro? No! You could live life in a more uh, genuine fashion. I watched two stupid people today in this movie. No, oh, this movie that we just watched. Yeah. I was like, <laughs> I was waiting for what you just said. Um, yes, should we tell the baddies what we watched? <sighs> Go ahead. Baddies, this week we watched... Annabelle! Um, if you follow us on Instagram, I did put up a poll that pinned up... The Nun versus Annabelle. I was hoping you guys would choose The Nun because I haven't seen it yet. I've seen Annabelle before. And none did. Huh. <laughs> 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 oh, hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what if instead of Botticini, it was just like a full on drum solo? We don't pay him enough for that. <laughs> um, but yes, we watched Annabelle. My second time seeing it. My first time seeing kinda it. Kind of scary. His first time seeing it. You incredibly thought it was incredibly scary. scary. Incredibly scary. I thought it was scary to me because I watched it by myself. At least you had Karen to watch it with. Um, I was by help. myself at night, um, and I woke up. I fell, I fell asleep during the movie, and I woke up, and it was zoomed in on Annabelle's face right when I woke up, and I was like, I'm going to turn off the TV. I um, don't like scary films. Yeah, I know. Um, did enjoy this a lot more than I thought I would. Of course. Uh, of course. Well, you have Karen with you. She makes it more enjoyable because she loves these movies. That's what it is. Karen did the classic Alex in the comic book movie thing where I don't shut up and talk about every little thing that's on the screen and kind of ruin it for the other person. So Uh. a couple of minutes into the movie, Karen went and got some watermelon. I just made sure she kept eating the watermelon. I ate watermelon the entire time. So she would not tell me anymore. (laughs) What was going to happen next? I was like, you got to just keep eating the watermelon. Just keep eating the watermelon. You had to keep her mouth busy so she wouldn't talk during the movie. That's right. Uh, sorry, stop, stop, nasty. I know you. I know that you probably can't get it up if you're scared. 
Whoa, whoa. I, that, oh, fear boner. <laughs> we're talking about watermelon, first of all, sir. You did not need to bring up my erectile dysfunction. No, I'm not talking about erectile dysfunction. I'm just saying. I no told one, you that in confidence. No one should get fear boners. No one should get scared and have a boner. Never, never in my life have I ever gotten so scared that I get a boner. No. Never in my fucking life. Because the can't blood's pee, rushing to my heart. I can't pee with a boner. Yes. Yes. Something that something that girls will never understand. <laughs> and they tell us women have it hard. <laughs> no, we I literally. Just want, I just want equal pay. That's right. Can't, I make too much money. Can't I get more? Did you say equal pay or equal head? Oh, what? He said equal pay. Oh, I think equal so. head. Who's getting a? Who's getting an? Uh, an irrational amount of head as opposed to the other sex. I think a statue maker. I think he's getting he gets a, a lot of heads. Get it? Oh, uh, he's he's, ma- he's carving the heads. I'm trying. That one was a stretch, but it's That's okay. okay. You know dude. what? Hey, they're not all home runs. I was doing good earlier in the episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we were doing we were doing great. It's a fucking podcast. Some did, of them are missing. See what it says okay? in the papers. <laughs> <laughs> the, sorry, guys. One of our lesser improv scenes, maybe. I loved those two. Actually. I was fine with it. I yeah. was fine with it. I like how it ended. I like how they're kind of like um, movie and then prequel. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, right. we watched Annabelle, guys. Check us out on Thursday. It is October. Yeah. It's spooky month. We got, um, what is the name, Frank? Fred? Frodo? Oh, the skull on the table. If you're listening to this in the car ride, we've been referring to the skull on the table. Decorated the studio with uh, some nice Halloween Net- decorations. Netting? Yeah. I have two dolls that are going to be in the studio that are straight from my mom's doll room that we'll put up for display oh, for the Christian, Annabelle episode. Those are straight from the Annabelle house. I'll end this by doing my um, Shakespeare. To be or not to be? Come to me. That is the question. Whether it is nobler to suffer the slings and arrows. And you ask me to kill some. <laughs> I wish Sorry, I'm interjecting. <laughs> Macbeth and God and Godfather like only ever played at the same time. Like you have to watch Macbeth, but we're also going to play Godfather in the yeah. background. <laughs> Two tent poles in uh literature Shakespearean and... history. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shakespeare wrote the first draft for Godfather. I believe it. Baddies, uh you guys know where to find us. Uh get those algorithms going. Comment Subscribe, follow, do what you can, help out the podcast, you know, uh, visit the website, get some of the, 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 the new shirts. I think they're out now. And uh, look at Alex's face. Bye, y'all. It can't be that bad, oh, 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 it can't be that bad. Oh,